Dear students, welcome you all for the physics virtual lab. Myself, Indrapreet Kaur, Physics Faculty, Delhi Public School, Bangalore East. In series, today we'll do experiment number four, AIM. Using a simple pendulum, plot its LT square graph and use it to find the effective length of the seconds pendulum. Apparatus, a clamp with stand, split cork, thread, bob, vernier calipers, stop clock and the meter scale. Theory, time period of the simple pendulum. The time taken by a freely oscillating pendulum to complete one oscillation is called time period. Its SI unit is uh, second. The time period is given by the following formula. T equals to 2 pi root L by G or T square is equals to 4 pi square L by G. By squaring both sides, we will get this expression. From the expression, it is very clear that t square is directly proportional to L as 4 pi square by G is a constant value. So when the graph is plotted between L versus t square, that is by taking t square along the y axis and taking L along the x axis, the graph comes out to be a straight line passing through the origin. Second pendulum. A second pendulum is such a pendulum which has a time period exactly of 2 seconds. So by using the formula of t equals to 2 pi root L by G, we can calculate the effective length of the second pendulum. So here we can put the value of time period as to be 2 seconds, then pi as to be 3.14 and acceleration due to gravity as to be 9.8. The calculated value of L, that is the effective length of the second pendulum on the surface of the earth, we will get approximately equals to 100 centimeter. So for the second pendulum, the effective length on the surface of the earth should be approximately 100 centimeter. Diagram, you can see here three figures A, B and C. The figure A is showing the experiment setup where you can see the pendulum uh, suspended with the help of split cork clamp and a stand. Position A is the main position. B and C are the two extreme position when the pendulum start oscillating. Figure B shows the effective length of the simple pendulum. Here you can see from point of suspension to the center of the bob. This is the effective length of the simple pendulum. This consists of L dash that is a length of the thread, H that is a length of the hook and R that is the radius of the bob. So including all three length L dash H and R we will get the effective length of the simple pendulum as L. Figure number C you can see the markings uh, M1, M2, M3 and so on. These are the markings done for the corresponding uh, effective lengths and these markings has to be done on the thread. First we will find out the radius of the bob for which we are using the vernier. The least count of the vernier is 0 0.01 centimeter. Please note down in your observations. The zero error of the vernier as you can see zero of main scale and zero of vernier is coinciding. Please note down in your observation table. Now we will find out the diameter of the bob by placing the bob between the jaws of the vernier. We'll lock the readings. Okay, you can now see the readings for diameter. Uh, the main scale reading is 2.5 centimeter and the one year reading is 0 0.03 centimeter. You can uh, add the main scale reading and one year reading and uh, find out the diameter. And from there you find out the radius of the bob. Please note down in your observation. So now we'll find out the length of the hook. As you can see the length of the hook over here is 1 centimeter. Please note down in your observations length of the hook is 1 centimeter. Now we will mark L dash on our thread. So as you can see here the effective length 80 centimeter. Uh, the L dash that is excluding the length of H and R. The L dash is 77.7 centimeter for 90 centimeter it is 87.7 for 100 centimeter it is 
97.7 for 110 centimeter it is 107.7 and for uh, 120 centimeter it is 117.7 so l dash the length of the thread that is excluding h and r now we will mark this l dash uh, on our string first marking for 77.7 all five markings we have done on the thread now we will take the readings for each effective length after marking all the points on the thread we will fix the thread into the split cork into the split cork and we'll just check if it is fixed properly the thread should be free to move now we will fix this cork into the clamp will close the clamp we close the clamp now our pendulum is ready to use here we have our stopwatch you can see here it has a least count of one second one division of the uh, stopwatch measures one second it has a two knobs, one and two. This knob is to start or stop the uh, watch and this knob is to reset. So now we will fix our length of a thread to 80 centimeter. So here we have a marking number one. We will pull the thread down till we see the marking 1 outside the cork. So we have marking 1 over here. Right now the total length of the pendulum is 80 cm from point of suspension to the center of the bob. The effective length 80 cm. The other end of the thread we will just fix it over here. We will displace the pendulum and we will count the oscillations after leaving one or two oscillations. So we will start now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. You can see the time taken by pendulum to complete 20 oscillation. Please write your readings in the chat box. Okay, now we will go for the second reading. For effective length, 90 centimeter. We have here our marking number 2. So we will pull the thread on from other side. The marking M2 is over here. The total length of the pendulum is now 90 centimeter. From point of, point of suspension to the center of the bob. We will fix the other end of the thread. So that we can fix the length of the pendulum. Displace the pendulum, leaving one or two oscillations, we can then start counting. We will start now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 
इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन सेवेंटीन एटीन नाइनटीन एंड ट्वेंटी यू कैन नोट द टाइम टेकन फॉर ट्वेंटी ऑसिलेशन फॉर इफेक्टिव लेंथ नाइन्टी सेंटीमीटर प्लीज पोस्ट योर रीडिंग इन द चैट बॉक्स That is M uh, point number three, marking number three, for effective length hundred centimeter. We'll pull the thread down till we see the marking outside the cork. So here we have our marking number three. So the total length of the pendulum is now hundred centimeter. We'll fix the other end of the thread. we we'll displace the pendulum we we'll leave one or two oscillations and then start counting so we will start now 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. You can see. the time taken for 20 oscillation please post your readings in the chat box okay now we'll do take our fourth reading so we have here marking number 4 we'll pull the thread from other side to adjust the length of the pendulum okay so from point of suspension to the center of the box The total length of the pendulum is now one hundred and ten. We we'll displace the pendulum. We we'll leave one or two oscillations, and then start counting. We will start our counting now. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Please note down time taken for twenty oscillation for effective length one hundred and ten centimeter and post your readings in the chat box. We'll go for our last reading for effective length one hundred and twenty. This is our marking number five. We will move the thread. We'll pull the thread so that we'll see. the marking number 5 on the other side of the cork you can see here this is marking number 5 the total length of the pendulum is now 120 cm the effective length of the pendulum is now 120 cm leaving one or two oscillations we can start counting so we'll start our counting now 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 
time taken for 20 oscillation for effective length 120 centimeter post your readings in the chat box observations you can check your observation vernier constant of vernier calipers is equals to 0 0.01 centimeter zero error of vernier calipers is zero zero correction is equals to zero Observed diameter D0 is equal to 2.53 cm. Corrected diameter is also equal to 2.53 cm as the zero correction is zero. The radius of pop R is equal to D by 2. The calculated value of radius is 1.26 cm. Length of the hook of the bob H is equals to 1 cm. Standard value of G equals to 980 cm per second square. Please check the readings for effective length L and the time period T. For effective length 80 cm, the time taken for 20 oscillations is 32 seconds. For 90 cm, it is 33 seconds. For 100 cm, 35 seconds. For 110 cm, it is 37 seconds. For 120 cm, it is 38 seconds. We can calculate the time period capital T. For 80 cm, it is 1.6. 1.65 1 for 90 cm. 1.75 for 100 cm. 1.85 for 110 cm. 1.9 is for 120 centimeter. We can calculate the T square value. It is 2.7, 2.7, 3, 3.4 and 3.6. Graph. You can see here LT square graph. L along the X axis and T square we have taken along the Y axis. The scale factor along x axis 1 division is equals to 1 centimeter along y axis 1 division is equals to 0 0.1 sec second square. The graph plotted between effective length and t square comes out to be a straight line graph passing through a region. We can use this graph to find out the length of the second pendulum. So to find out the effective length uh, of the second pendulum we will take a point p on our slope for which the effective length is 100 cm and for point P the corresponding value of T square as 3 so T square is equals to 3 from here the T value comes out to be 1.7 as a precision of our uh, stopwatch or the least count of the stopwatch is uh, 1 second we will round off this value to 2 second result the graph L versus T square is a straight line the effective length of the second pendulum whose time period is 2 seconds from L versus T square graph is 100 cm. Precautions. Amplitude of the oscillation should be small. That is theta should be less than 18 degree. 2. The bob should move along a straight line. 3. The length of the pendulum should be increased in steps of 10 cm to bring appreciable change in time period. 4. The length of the pendulum should include length of the hook and radius of bob. Sources of error 1. The amplitude may not be small. The air current may disturb vibration. 3. There may be error in counting. 4. The bob may spin. Points to ponder 1. Why do we use heavy bob which is small in size? 2. If the given bob is replaced by a wooden bob, of same size will the time period change 3 while oscillating the amplitude of the pendulum must be small why 4 what will happen to the time period if a simple pendulum is set up on the surface of the moon thank you